Hello again, I'm Jason Spangler, Flooring Division Manager with Wagner Meters, here to help you with possibly the most anxiety-causing, nerve-wracking, sleepless night question on your mind. Jason, does Rapid RH L6 completely meet the ASTM F2170 standard? Well, yes it does, to the letter. And what I'm going to say next will answer this question as well. Why should you care? Liability, it's a dirty word, but I've never claimed to be PG-13. We have to talk about it. If your elegant, economic, and ergonomic floor suffers a moisture-related failure, fingers are going to be pointed at everyone in the room, including you. You are going to have greater protection by showing that all of your products and processes conform to established standards. That includes your concrete RH test. Don't poke holes in your umbrella by using a concrete RH test that only comes close to meeting the F2170 standard. Close only works with horseshoes and hand grenades. And my golf game, but hey, I digress. Rapid RH probes are sized for a flush fit in holes drilled to a measured four inch concrete slab. If the hole needs to be drilled deeper to accommodate a deeper slab, simply add as many extension sleeves as it takes to keep the hole liner flush with the surface of the concrete. F2170 says that probes must have NIST traceable calibration equal to or better than plus or minus 2% relative humidity between 50 and 90% relative humidity. If you're familiar with tolerances and electronics, you know that they represent degrees of deviation allowed according to their measurement characteristics. ASTM F2170 allows plus or minus 2% between 50 and 90% relative humidity. Take a look at this chart that shows the typical and maximal tolerances for the custom chip built into every rapid RH smart sensor. Notice that both the typical and maximal tolerances for the rapid RH sensor hold steady at a maximum of 2% all the way up to 90% relative humidity. You may say, duh, of course, every in situ RH sensor has this accuracy. Tell us something we don't know. Well, bet you didn't know this. This is the regular market version of the same sensor chip found in some other in situ relative humidity testing probes. Notice anything different? Gold star if you notice maximal tolerance jumps beyond 2% at 80%. But Jason, the typical tolerance stays below 2% all the way to 100%. That's great, isn't it? Let me ask you, have you ever bought a typical new car? Have you had typical surgery? Drove the typical speed limit? Had a typical holiday dinner with your in-laws? My point is, nobody I know makes business decisions based on typical results. Of course you'll want to know the maximum potential deviation, which, with the L6 smart sensor, stays at plus or minus 2% all the way up to 90% relative humidity. So if by some other wisdom, you decide to purchase and use other in situ sensor probes, do your due diligence and determine for yourself if their accuracy tolerances are within the standard. Lastly, let's cover sensor acclimation. ASTM F2170 says to allow the probe to reach temperature equilibrium before taking readings. Even a small difference in temperature will produce a significant error in RH measurement. If you install a rapid RH smart sensor and wait 24 hours as required by F2170, the sensor will reach temperature equilibrium during that time. Which means you can take a reading the very minute after the 24 hour equilibration time has passed. Other in situ probes need extra time to reach temperature equilibrium in every hole before you can take a reading. So let's say you need to wait half an hour for sensor equilibrium at each hole. If you have 20 holes to test, you can lose a whole workday just waiting for our competitors' test probes to equilibrate. With Rapid RH L6, spend two minutes capturing readings on the Datamaster L6 free smart device app, and you've completed readings on all 20 test holes in 40 minutes, which leaves time for a macchiato at the corner coffee shop. Well, at this point, there shouldn't be any doubt that Rapid RH meets ASTM F2170 to the letter. But if you have any doubts or questions, email me at jspangler at wagnermeters.com, and I'll be happy to discuss more details with you. And at this point, if you're not convinced that Rapid RH is the simplest, most accurate, and reliable in situ RH test method, then at least make sure the test system you choose meets the ASTM F2170 standard. Don't settle for typical. Visit rapidrh.com to learn more about and purchase the Rapid RH L6 system. Thanks for watching, and while you're here, check out these other videos and click subscribe.